understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to a thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin to you today. The word of the Lord. Amen. In response to the song, the Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All oh my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another. As love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we may have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we all also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him, and he in us, that he has given us of his Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him, and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord.
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. As a prayer, you know, Mom taught me and her family many years ago, praying to have a meek and humble heart like Jesus. We have the statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus before us. He points to his heart and he says, this is what it's all about. This is what our whole journey is all about. The heart. Not just up here. Because we can put a lot of things up here. We can be incredibly smart. And know all the doctrines. And maybe know every single verse of scripture up here. But if it's not here, it doesn't mean anything. It has to come through the heart. And that's why Jesus was always after the Pharisees and the scribes. Because they were very bright. They had a lot of knowledge. But he's, Jesus was after their heart because he knew that their heart was cold. It was dark. That they didn't give him a chance. They didn't listen. They listened only up here. But they didn't listen with the heart to the plea of Jesus Christ. So they're not able to believe because their heart was so far from the heart of Christ. And that's why we pray that we have a heart like Christ. That we're able to love like Christ. Like, I, I, I can't do that. I'm not Jesus. True. But that's something that we strive for. And what we have is the opportunity to love one another. That when we do that, we can see the heart of Christ in one who is able to love someone who is even seen as an enemy. That we can become like Christ, that we can love everyone, even those who despise us, those who want to persecute us, those who want to crucify us. Jesus loved them to the end. And when they pierced the side of Jesus, the blood and water poured forth from his side. This blood and water pours forth upon us today. That that heart, that human heart, filled with this divine love, continues to love us. Just as it says in the book of Deuteronomy that the heart, the Lord set his heart upon his people. It's an interesting expression. Let's say, he, we say it later, the Lord loved his people there it says, he set his heart. God, well, Jesus is not around yet, right? God has a heart, a new spirit, that he put his heart upon this little nation of Israel. He says, not because you're great and mighty, you're the smallest of nations. He says, because I have chosen you, I put my heart on you. And I want you to have a heart like mine. Meaning, I want you to follow my ways. I want you to love. I want you to obey the commandments. And I will always love you. Our second reading says the same thing. That we remain in His love when we remain in Him. This day let us seek to remain in Him. To remain actually specifically in His heart. To have a heart like Christ. All of us will be given the opportunity today to love. Hopefully it will be nothing too difficult. But there may be some that will be difficult to love. And I should think, Lord, Jesus, help me to have a heart like yours. Help me to love so much that maybe I need to, anyone today that needs to forgive, and that's the real test, is to have a heart like Christ that is merciful, to forgive 
those that have sinned against us. Praise God. Today on the solemnity we have the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. The begotten God not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For our sin, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, that was the heart of the Virgin Mary, and he came in. For our sake, he was crucified by the conscious fire. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is sitting in the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory and rejoice the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of God, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is a glory and glory of God, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess what God has done. Now, lift up our prayers to the heart of Christ. Let's pray for the church that she will love as Jesus loved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our nation, for all nations, to be one, to be united, to be under God, that God's heart be set upon us all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those hearts that have been broken by sickness, loss of jobs, fighting disaster, families that are broken, the heart of the Father will bring healing, bring strength and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray. pray for our parish community that as we continue to open up that more and more will return here to the sacraments, to Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And today we pray for the soul of Alicia Anti, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all who have died and gone before us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special prayers you hold in the silence of your heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, meek and humble of heart, we offer our prayer to you that you bring to the Father. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Let's start in your God. We have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of doing the hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the blessing we offer you, the fruit of the vine, and the work of doing the hands that will become our spiritual bread. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May you love our sins.
give acceptable to you in an expiation of our sin offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that blood over to the open heart of the Savior all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without them we be acclaimed. Holy, holy, holy be the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the Holy, O Lord, and all who created rightly gives you praise. But through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, the Blessed Spouse, with the blessed apostles, and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints in his constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation with the Lord advance the peace and salvation of our world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church and earth. Through your servant, Francis, I hope, 
and Maron are bishops. The order of bishops or the clergy in the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all the children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, dear we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, the Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. to the English station today on the Joel Island to see by the park and the front porch and the net distance.
Amen. Thus says the Lord, Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Of joy for us. For those who do not know yet our schedule for profession, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, 5 o'clock to 6 Maybe here in the Sunday and how many will come. And Saturday. Saturday is in the morning, 8.30 and also in the night. We have four days uh, per week or if you want to call somebody, you can also make a special arrangement aside from the usual schedule. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. And peace to God. We have two special prayers one from St. Gertrude and one from uh, St. John Cardinal Henry Newman. Uh, we're in love for because we used his model for his episcopacy. It was Cora of Cora Gopinacora. So if you know your Latin, that means heart speaks to heart. 
and the beautiful expressions of two little prayers before the Sacred Heart. Hail, Sacred Heart of Jesus, living and strengthening source of eternal life, infinite treasury of divinity, burning furnace of divine love. You are my refuge and my sanctuary, my loving Savior. Consume my heart in that burning fire with which your own is inflamed. Pour into my soul those graces which flow from your love. Let my heart be so united with yours that our wills may be one. And may my will in all things conform with yours. May your will be the guide and rule of my desires and of my actions. Amen. And the second prayer. Most sacred heart, most sacred, most loving heart of Jesus, you are concealed in the Holy Eucharist, and you be for us still. Now as then you say, with desire I have desired. I worship you with all my best love and awe, with fervent affection, with my most subdued, most resolved will. For a while you take up your abode within me. Oh, make my heart beat with your heart, Purify it of all that is earthly, all that is proud and sensual, all that is hard and cruel, of all perversity, of all disorder, of all deadness. So fill it with you that neither the events of the day nor the circumstances of the time may have the power to ruffle it, but that in your love and your fear it may have peace. Amen. Amen. 